Hey, hey, what's up? This your boy Ray Mack. Today we're doing a chicken with bell peppers and onion stir fry. Simply, simply easy recipe. And I'm guaranteeing you, you would definitely love it. Let's give it a try. First thing I want you to do is get you a quart size Ziploc bag because we're going to go ahead and pound this chicken down and the Ziploc bag would definitely help us out. So you need just one full boneless breast and take you a mallet or either a, um, a rolling pin or whatever you could use to pound that meat inside of the quart size Ziploc bag. Try your best not to puncture that bag at all. After you do that, I want you to sit that bag in the freezer and just let it firm up just a little bit. Now I want you to take you some red, green, and orange or yellow bell pepper and just slice um, a section off of it you don't use we're not going to use the whole bell pepper we're just going to use a section of each bell pepper and then i want you to go ahead and cut them into thin strips yes thin strips if you want to cut them up in chunks be my guest and do so but i just love cutting these vegetables up in thin strips now after i cut these um, bell peppers i'm going to do the exact same with one large sweet bedelia onion and after that we'll start with the next process Okay, I'm using my favorite, Nora's Urban Butter Seasoned Rice. You could use whatever rice you like. Uncle Ben's will work well. I got two cups of water. Along with that, I'm going to add the, the bag of rice to the saucepan along with the two cups of water. And then I'm going to also toss in a dollop or two tablespoons of this here um butter i think it's two tablespoons but all you have to do is just read the packaging direction on the back and it would definitely tell you how to cook this rice up so i'm putting it on the stove so the next thing i want to do is i want to take my pounded meat that i pounded in the quart size ziploc bag and i'm just cutting the edges off of this here bag all right and i'm gonna show you why i'm cutting the edges off so continue to watch this and don't go nowhere So now we then sliced our meats down into like bite sized pieces. And I just want you to start pulling your little pieces together because this is definitely going to help us um, cook this quick. OK, so I got some olive oil and in my wok, I got the wok set on high heat. I put the olive oil in and I'm also tossing in these here um, sliced up pieces of chicken. And this chicken is going to cook quick, y'all. It's going to cook within about five minutes. Trust and believe me. OK. So just move everything around. Now I want you to add some black pepper to this. Along with the black pepper, I want you to add some kosher salt to it. And we're just going to season up the meat just a little bit. Now I want you to add in some onion powder. All right. And then I want you to add in as well some cayenne pepper. 
just to spice up a little things or whatever the case may be and just move everything around like we say is this going to cook up in about at least five minutes that's all you want because with these little bite-sized pieces they're going to definitely cook quick all right while this chicken is cooking, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button right now that you see in that corner, please, so you can become a Raymax family member. I need you. Now I want you to go ahead and take your chicken out of the wok, move it to the side, add your veggies. Along with that, toss in some more olive oil to help cook these up. And I want you to also add at least two tablespoons of minced garlic if you want to use fresh garlic be my guest it's no problem all right i just kind of think that the jarred garlic is a little bit more easier all right so just use two tablespoons of that and then just stir things around just a little bit Allow your veggies to cook for at least around two to three minutes. Then after the two to three minutes is up, we want to go ahead and add our protein back to this here vegetable, your protein, which is your chicken bites. OK, now I want you to take you some horse and sauce. All right. And I just want you to add at least around about a good two tablespoons of the horse and sauce to this. Then I want you to add in some oyster sauce. All right. And I want you to add at least around about two to three tablespoons to this. Um, and then I want you to also add in. This is definitely going to give your food some color. I want you to get some dark soy sauce. All right. And add at least around about a good two tablespoons to this to your dish as well. After that, you can go ahead and start mixing stuff up. You don't have to add in no more seasonings or anything like that. Trust and believe me, this is going to be packed with flavor. So we just want to go ahead and move this around a little bit. Now, if you see that your sauce is just a little too thick, what you could do is just add at least round about a small amount of water to your sauce just to thicken it up a little bit or to loosen it up a little bit. All right. And then from there, we can go ahead and start plating this baby up. All right, with this recipe, you could definitely use this as a prep meal, all right? So I got me some tin pans that I'm lining up with this here butter and herb rice, and along with that, I'm adding in my chicken stir fry, and I'm doing a few of these here containers, and I did use two whole boneless chicken breasts. I pounded in them out, and that's all that I used, two boneless chicken breasts. And the pack of Nora's rice only costs a dollar. This is an inexpensive meal that you could prepare for yourself. And trust and believe me, this will hold you for three days. You don't have to spend a lot of money to eat good or whatever the case may be. You just go ahead and get in the kitchen and fix you up something and you can meal prep it. All right. And I'm hoping that you guys would definitely give this here a try. Trust and believe me, it was a great meal and I'm doing this again and many many others in the time to come all right stay tuned you better not go nowhere I'm really hoping that you guys give this easy recipe a try. And if you could, do me a favor. Tell a friend to tell a friend that Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill is cooking up something good over there on his YouTube channel. And if you could, please watch these videos as well. And if you want to become a Ray Max family member, all you have to do is hit that little subscribe button in that corner. In the corner. Click on it and become a Ray Max family member. Love and not hate. Comment and give this video a thumbs up. Love you. Peace.